Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm really excited to be uh, giving you a quick um, overview or first look at some beautiful products from Creators Friend. Creators Friend is an Australian based uh, company uh, that make basically what they describe as hobby journals, uh, the hobby notes selection, as well as um, a really great system of uh, productivity planners called the fast brain system for um, neurodivergent or ADHD uh, people. So I'm looking at a couple of products I got sent by them. This is a, a very first look. I've not used these yet. I've had a very quick look myself just to sort of get a sense of them. Um, but I'm going to do a full review of all of this uh, in a little while because I want to use them and get to know them and get to know the systems. But I wanted to show them today because I think they're really lovely and I think that they're a really great option, particularly before the new year. People like to start things afresh in the new year. So we can have a look at these here. Um, think about these as gift options for people as well um, because I think they look really, really great. So what I have here is a range of the notebooks and then I've got the um, highlighter selection from them as well. So I'm going to start with, look, let's start with the highlighters. Um, so these are, um, there's a, a range of colors and these are dual tip highlighters and they come in this assorted pack of, of six assorted colors. So I've got six of them here um, and I'll just, let's have a look at this one. So it says creator's friend there on the front. And as I said, they're dual tip. So one end is gonna have the one millimeter bullet tip which is great for sort of finer work and one will have the four millimeter chisel tip which is great for well highlighting and now these are designed to be quick drying with zero bleed and shadowing so i will do a little writing sample with one of these um, in one of the journals just to show you how they go or maybe even do a quick color sample of all of them um, but these are designed to be used as part of the system you know for those of us who like to highlight what we do but don't want to sort of end up with you know bleeding and things like that coming through onto the page behind so as i said they come at six dual tip highlighters for 16 dollars in an assortment of colors um, all this will be available through the website which i will link to down below then we get hit to this this is the kind of like this is the, the core of what they do so in here is a range of the journals the hobby journals um, and these are guided hobby journals. So they have, a, they have ways of assisting you uh, in, in logging these things. And there's also examples of the fast brain system, which isn't just for, I should say, the fast brain system is not just for neurodivergent or ADHD people. It is for everyone, but it is designed with that in mind. Okay, so let's have a look and see what's in this beautiful bag they come in. And here we have uh, just a little selection of the bits. So you get these little information cards, um, you know, so, so these correspond with the notebooks that um, I have here. Uh, and then we've got the cover. Now the cover is a PU vegan leather. Um, and so and this is the saddle brown. Um, so it is vegan, it is um, well made it's it's strong it's all that kind of stuff and it uses that traveler's style elastic system that uh creator creator's friend have sort of adjusted um, this retails for 32 dollars uh and i think it's a really lovely option um i will say on the website there are a bunch of guides user guides um on how to use how to set up how to get the most out of this system both the cover and the notebooks themselves, as well as ideas on other ways of productivity things and you know all that kind of stuff, journaling, that can be really helpful. But let's see what journals um, I have here today. Now, these are wrapped in plastic, so I'll try and get them so they don't glare. I have the Cooking Friend Hobby Book, which corresponds with this card. Um, which on the back gives a little bit of guidance for the notebook. So start by describing what the recipe is and how complicated it will be. Outline all of your ingredients and quantities. Write down step-by-step -step instructions. Come back and add notes as you make adjustments to the recipe uh, and reference, to, uh, reference the conversion chart at the back for help with measurements. 
simply labeled there with creator's friend on the back and then cooking friend on the front. Index, and then, yeah, all that idea for the recipe and, you know, ideas to go along with it and all that kind of stuff. And you get that through the notebook, um, which is really, really wonderful. And then a conversion chart at the back. This feels very nice. It's a lovely 300 GSM cover. They all have 48 pages and are A5 size. Um, and yeah, so these 300 GSM card covers and then 100 GSM internal paper, which is uncoated uh, FSC friendly paper. And they're all sewn bound, which is really great. So they're, you know, they're going to stand up to, to use. Um, super secure. Um, very nice, simple print. Uh, which I enjoy a lot. As I said, I'm going to do a little writing sample in one of these to show the quality of the paper uh, and the highlighters as well. Um, but this is very, very nice. This is a very simple, clean uh, setup, but all the details you need for, you know, to keep a, a record of the recipes that you cook. Next here, we have The Taste Friend. Uh, now, this is a book for uh, food, wine, whiskey, or coffee. And once again, it gives you a guide as to, you know, the way the book can work for you. It's got all that sort of information in here. Uh, so open it up and there's terminology there, which is lovely. Actually, having the terminology there, a lot of the times when people are describing these things in their own lives, um, you know, you sometimes lack some of that terminology. So here's a, a great way of uh, knowing what you can sort of reference. Um, and then here is the... Uh, the layout so it gives you uh, name description produced by enjoyed at uh, the flavors is from delicate through to bold so you can put that on a scale you can mark things like uh, the aroma and taste and finish by you know mellow spice smoke wood earth chemical those kinds of things and then rate the body the mouthfeel the balance the sweetness and linger and then you've got rating and notes and that kind of thing um, and then a pairing suggestion down at the bottom here um, I like that a lot. So, okay, next we have The Collector's Friend, and I got three of these notebooks here of The Collector's Friend. Um, and they're designed to be like a, a record or a log of, you know, a collection that you have. So, for instance, for me, it might be fountain pens or something like that. You list the item, the date, and the page, and that will correspond with a page in the notebook. And the pages are all numbered. Uh, you can list, you know, limited, vintage, antique, iconic, personal, and you talk about the item and where you got it from, date you paid, all those kinds of things, or sold it at, and then you've got various ways of noting different items of, and ideas about it, some dot grids, some lines, um, and then valuation records. One of the things I'm really liking about these is the sort of the no fuss of them. You know, you go, you go straight into the collection, which is brilliant. Lastly, we come to the Fast Brain Friend here, which is the A5 Daily Productivity Planner. Now, this comes in a huge range of colors, and they're designed basically to be a book for a month, um, which is designed to sort of help you as an ADHD or neurodivergent person uh, to stay on track with your planning and not get overwhelmed by it. There's QR codes and things to help you how to use each layout um, as a range of keys uh, for different sort of uh, tasks and things like that. Opening it up, you get a little bit more, you know, basic space to, to log what it is. A little bit about the system, the copyright of it, um, Alana uh, Patel there. Uh, the available editions of the book. So, so there's Caramel Sage, Eucalyptus Pine Forest, Milky Latte, Cloudy Day, Larimar, Lagoon, Musk Stick, Meat, Peach, Terracotta, and Burgundy Wine. So you can get a range of different colors. I said use one per month uh, is the basic setup if you use it every day. Um, a bit more information. It says here tip, use highlighters, markers, pencils, watercolor, whatever your instrument of choice. The first few pages are week preparation. So there's meal planning, um, there's scheduled activities, habits you're working on, grocery list, those kinds of basic things you might need on a week to week basis. Um, and there's enough there for the entire month. Um, and then we start um, on uh, the dailies. Now there's a lot of different daily layouts. And as I said, there's a QR code and there's resources on how to use them um, and you know, every day is, well, it's not every day, but there's a range of different um, layouts here to keep 
uh, you focused and to keep you moving on through that. Um, I like this a lot. Um, I like the fact that it says there's no rules, so you can use these as you need to, but there are guides to sort of help you uh, if you decide that's what you want to do. Now, this doesn't replace necessarily a diary. This is just a daily planner uh, for helping you stay on track for the day. It's got the date, the day of the month at the top, and then you can circle what day that is as well. Um, and that continues towards the back where we get to 30, you know, 31 days for those months that have 31. Um, and then we get um, ideas, tasks, schedule lists, and then, um, yeah, it's like a few sort of list maker pages. And this is where I'm going to do a little bit of a writing sample just to show the quality of the paper. As I said, I am going to, in a, in a few months' time, once I've been using these for a while, I'm going to uh, do a, a sort of like a, an overview, more detailed review of the systems more or less kind of showing how I use them. I will show an example page from each with my setup in them, um, which I'm really looking forward to doing. But I want to start with these highlighters here. So I'm just going to do a quick line um, with the bullet tip and then the uh, chisel tip of each of these. So there I've done uh, the quick little writing sample with the highlighters. They are pastel colours and they're quite nice. Um, I like the fact, I like pastel highlighters because they do their job without being like a super sort of obtrusive and you can get more brightly coloured highlighters if you need them to really stand out. But these will highlight and that's quite nice. On the back of this paper, I said it's 100 GSM paper, absolutely nothing comes through. You can barely see I've even written there. But let's now do a quick writing sample underneath this. I'm going to use a... a, a a pencil, a ballpoint pen, a fine liner, and an every what I consider to be an everyday fountain pen. Okay, so I've done the pencil, the ballpoint, the fine liner, and the fountain pen. Let's see how they go on the reverse of this page. And as you can see, once again, nothing has come through. This paper is really nice. Um, I'm actually going to test it with a slightly more um, not aggressive, but a another fountain pen will go. This one writes a little bit wetter uh, than the extra fine Lamy Safari fountain pen I wrote with there. Um, just because I like to sort of really see what a paper can do and how it responds with different things. Uh, and once again, it performs beautifully. When I first started uh, talking with creative uh, creators friend, they said to me that the pa paper wasn't fountain pen friendly. Now, like, this is 100 GSM paper, it's good quality paper, and it's standing up to a standard fountain pen, like an extra fine Lamy Safari, and then a, a much wetter Italian, it's an Aurora fountain pen with a medium nib and a more sort of um, wetter ink as well. So, like, I wouldn't say, you know, go and use your, you know, super, super sort of, a, you know, big wet fountain pens and things like that, but for everyday writing that you would want to be doing in a notebook like this, in a notebook series, like it's going to handle things really, really well. And also because of that lack of ghosting, you're really not going to have any issue writing on both sides of the paper. Really, really nice. Good job, creator's friend. Okay, so a little bit of a price recap, just so we're all clear. Highlighters, six for about $16. The cover, 32 Australian dollars. The journals cost $14.95 each, or the pack of three uh, for $34.95. Good prices. There's good resources online, uh, on their website and on their Instagram and social media. Um, these are beautifully considered guided journals, um, and uh, it's an Australian-based company, so lots to sort of get behind there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them up in here, and then I'm going to start using them over the next little while, and I'll come back and do a full review uh, or recap, if you will, of uh, what I've found with these. So let's do this quick setup. The elastic comfortably sort of holds three. So the three I'm going to use today to start with are the Fast Brain Friend, the Collector's Friend, and the Taste Friend. These are the ones I'm going to use for the next month, uh, and then, or month or so, and then uh, come back to do the sort of full review. Um, I'm going to start by placing the Fast Brain Friend in the back. Um, and so you find the center of the notebook and you take one of the elastics, I'm going to use this like internal one here, um, and you put that through the center there, and then you pull the elastic uh, to tighten it into the sort of central p 
position there. Um, and then that once everything's in, that will be held securely. Um, then let's take the taste friend here. And then you put that through the larger elastic there and then twist it around like that. And then pull the cover through there, making that nice and secure. And then you've got two notebooks in. And then you've got this third elastic over here that will go through the center of the collector's friend, which I will put there. Very nice. And there's your three notebooks. And then you close the cover and this other elastic on the back secures it all nice and shut. So this is the Creator's Friend system. As I said, I've got a range of these uh, to try out. I'm gonna be trying these three for the next little while. Um, I'll report back about the quality of the, you know, how the cover holds up, all those kinds of things, how the paper is held up with the different things, and then also talk a little bit about the system. So thank you for watching today. I hope this overview uh, is it was interesting and I hope you found something interesting about the brand I'm really looking forward to getting to know it better so a big thank you to creators friend for sending these out for me to look at um, I will link to everything of theirs down below so you can find their website and their Instagram that kind of thing and uh, yeah check them out Australian based company uh, and uh, worth looking at and doing really interesting things and nice things uh, in this hobby note and the fast brain system so like and subscribe hit the notifications button get in touch if there's a way you'd like to support the channel i would love to hear from you in the meantime enjoy writing enjoy your planning system and i'll talk to you soon